Great. So now <laughs> we are back to our experiment, right? Yes. And we have this particular circuit here that does exactly. There is a capacitor, and there is that resistor. And as usual, we have our oscilloscope and signal generator yes. with this kit. Perfect. Okay. Great. So what shall we start with? Um, why don't we start with well? Last time we started with very small frequencies. Yeah. Shall we just try applying a very high frequency Let's and see if start, that works? Okay. Maybe what? So we said we got some 10 kilohertz. Let's yeah. start with like 100 kilohertz. Let's do that. Okay. okay. And what's the amplitude? Just is 100 sure. millivolts. Last time millivolts. we gave one volt, but I think 100 millivolts it doesn't is matter. Fine. The amplitude, shouldn't matter. amplitude doesn't matter. Right. So let me start this. Yes. Wave. Right. And uh, what I'm going to do? Yeah. Is uh, can you just make it full yes. screen so yes, that we I can will. see it. Yeah. So that we can mm. see it. Yes. Okay. So. Um, we have 100 kilohertz, the amplitude is 10 millivolts. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now let us go to the scope. Great. Um, uh, maybe I will just make it easier to um, Okay. See? Great. This, is, this is nice. So as usual, can you turn off the blue one? And turn off the blue one. The orange one is the input. That is right. To this high pass filter and the blue voltage. Yes. If you turn that on. So in fact, so uh, let us confirm that everything is right. So the <coughs> 100 millivolts per division, division and we are in fact seeing a 100 millivolt, millivolt input, input amplitude is 100 volt. Yes. Millivolt. And now yeah. if you turn on the, uh, I have turned off blue the one. input. Yeah. So off. the blue voltage is the voltage across the resistor this time. Across the resistor right? this time. Yes. That is right. Okay. So this is the, uh, we are plotting actually this voltage here. Yes. Great. Okay. Okay. And that seems to be 100 millivolt. In fact, they are right on top of each other. Right on top of each other. So no phase difference. No phase difference as well. Let us see. Oops. Let me try to make it a little bit. Uh, yeah. This is nice. As you can so, see, there is no so right phase on top difference, of each other, right? Yeah. As expected. Perfect. Good. Okay. So we did uh, 100 kilohertz, and uh, should you want to just write it down and Let's document it? Let's write it down. It? Let's yeah. document so it. We'll, so yeah. that we we keep track of this. Yeah. So what are the things we want to document this time? So <clears throat> last time we documented like almost everything about the circuit. Yeah. Maybe this time we'll document the uh, input frequency. The amplitude of VR. Yeah. Do we also want to keep track of the phase? Phase, maybe not. Right. We'll just, we'll uh, just look keep at track the of the amplitude. amplitude we'll because look uh, at the amplitude. Yes. So this is uh, input frequency. Yeah. Um, and uh, input amplitude. I'll call this A. Yeah. Oh, oh but a, that is fixed. Know. Yeah. So yeah. we'll just look at the output amplitude. Yes. A out. Right? A okay. out. Okay. Great. So for 100 kilohertz, we got 100 millivolt. 100 millivolts. Okay, great. And for all of these, A in is, is 100, 100 millivolts. Yes, 100 millivolt. correct. Okay. So for all of the things that we are going to monitor. Great. So now what do we do? We make it, you want to make it 50 kilohertz? Let us do that. Let us make it 50 kilohertz. Okay. And uh, yeah. As you can frequency see, frequency still seems high enough. Frequency still is high enough. So, just a reminder: the cutoff frequency is expected to be 10 by 2 pi. So, that's about 1.6. Yeah. Right. Correct. Uh, something like 1.6 kilohertz. kilohertz. Correct. So, 50 kilohertz is like you know very uh, high. 20 more than 20 times higher. We this is exactly what we expect. One thing I do see is that the it's starting to show a slight uh, phase difference. Phase difference. Yeah. It's no, almost zero, but very slight. The blue is slightly delayed. Slightly right? delayed. No. Okay. But right. I can still see that the output is still very close to 100 millivolts. 100 millivolts. Right. Yeah. So, so there's practically very little difference. Yeah. So, so let's go there and. So this is 50 kilohertz. Yes. So I still see 100 millivolt. Millivolts. Okay. Great. Shall we go to 10 kilohertz? Now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're seeing some yes. split now. Yes. Yes. Right. So now so you this can this <coughs> still seems to be some, you know, still hundred millivolt, right? Very Almost close to hundred millivolts. millivolts. But the phase is slightly off. Yes, the phase okay. is slightly off. Okay. So right. let's go and just so write that down. So we'll say it is still about hundred millivolts. Hundred millivolts. Okay. Nice. What shall we do next? Uh, maybe we should get closer to maybe 2 kilohertz. Let us do 2 kilohertz. Yeah, because you said 1.6 kilohertz or something was yes. the frequency, right? Yes. So let us go here and 2 kilohertz. Wow. Yes. Now, now it is splitting. Yes. Right? We yes. can see some and amplitude has dropped. 
amplitude has dropped and in fact um, last time yeah. we saw that at exactly the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter correct we saw it because it was a 1 over um, 1 uh, by root 2 yes we, we got, yes, we got a 1 over root 2 factor. equal to 1 so uh, let us go back here to the first page yeah. so when at exactly omega naught equal to uh, 1 over rc See, we the got denominator become a by become, root 2 we got a by root 2 as the yeah. amplitude yes. so 0.7 correct a yeah well we should be getting close to that value yes All right so uh, let us see so this one is giving you about um, very close to 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Very right? close to 0 0.7. Very close to 0 0.7. Right? We'll, we are just going to eyeball it. It's giving very close to 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Okay, great. Yeah. So, so let's go back there. So, so 70. 70 millivolts. Millivolts. Okay. Input is still 100. Now make it one kilohertz. Let's make it one kilohertz. Okay. This is now significantly lesser, right? Yes. Yes, I there can see we are. It's, okay. it's dropped. It's dropped actually below Point, half. Yeah. Maybe 0.45? Maybe 0.45. Right. Yes. Let's put that down. So 45 millivolts. Input amplitude is the same. Yes. And uh, maybe. Now we'll go 100 hertz. 100 hertz. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Wow. Yes, you can see a big. Uh, it's virtually zero now. It's virtually zero. zero the input right? amplitude is almost zero. Almost zero, right? That's right. So, therefore, the output now is. So, this is exactly what we wanted a high pass filter to do. That's right. right? It's allowing frequencies about 10 kilohertz to just go through unaffected, but it is attenuating frequencies below that. Right, and uh, okay, this is wonderful actually. Yes, it is. Right? Uh, it's amazing that we are able to see the analysis and experiment side by side. Side by side, and uh, they agree with each other exactly. Right. That's right. Uh, just a point of discussion. It's also possible to do this with the differential equation that we set up last time in exactly the same way. Absolutely. Right. <clears throat> Absolutely. Instead of using this trick of KVL, yes, you can start from first principles. Write down the differential equation, except you don't write Vc of t, you write Vr of t. Vr of t. Right? right? And you solve the differential equation, you will indeed get the exact same answer for uh, all of these values. Exactly. For example, for the step response, you will get e power minus t by rc. Right. Right? And for the uh, calculation for this, you will get exactly this quantity. Exactly. Answer. Right? So, yeah, it may, it may come out in a slightly different form of some a1 sin omega naught t minus phi 1. That will right. be different, but it should effectively you know, give you the similar answer, right? Absolutely. So, we should leave that as an assignment? We should leave that as an assignment. Yes, we absolutely. We leave it as a homework uh, exercise absolutely. for the students. Absolutely, right. Okay, great. So, uh, you know, so we looked at high pass, we looked at low pass, something in between? Mm. So, a low pass is something that uh, lets in only low frequencies and cuts off higher high frequencies. frequencies. The higher frequencies lets only high frequencies. <clears throat> Maybe there is something that gives only something in between. Something in between, right? Yes. Okay. So, in the next lecture, why don't we look at that? Absolutely. This is getting very exciting. Good. Thank you. Thanks.